Okay, Kevin and Keith here from Beat the Casino. Uh, we wanted to update you on some of the stuff we've uh, been looking at. And geez, quite honestly, maybe some of the stuff we missed to share with you guys. Uh, we got some great new stuff from our trip in Vegas. We were out there for quite some time. And I have Kevin joining us in Vegas. And, uh, you know, Kevin, we wanted to go into the derived roads, which we've uh, really been studying really hard. And you've made some really significant observations and uh you know think you can improve uh folks win rate by uh some of your insights that you're going to share with everybody here so i have a game up that you had here i'll i'm going to throw it over to you to, to you know go ahead and uh introduce folks who are not familiar with the derived roads and how you use them and what you found out over the last uh, couple of weeks of playing with me and rail rabbit and others out there in vegas Okay, Keith. Well, thank you. Um, You're welcome. I, I, I haven't been excited uh, about Bachride, about telling people about how to, <laughs> you know, maybe look at the game and how to win uh, as much as since I did the 5D thing back in 2014. Now, that's, yep. that's about nine years ago. Yeah, it's okay? been a while. Yes. And I've been playing that religiously all these years. Um, and, you know, it still works. <laughs> yeah, it and does. What I want to do. But what I want to do is I want to tell somebody about something that I found. And I didn't discover this. Uh, this isn't, you know, I'm not taking any credit for this. But I am taking credit for the fact that I finally figured it out for myself. There you go. And that's always the best way. Good uh, just, for you. As, as, as a bit of history, um, you know, we had a, we had a meeting. Uh, we had a seminar here in Las Vegas. Yes, we did. Uh, about a year ago. Yep. And prior to that meeting, because I kind of gotten tired of being the one that always had to stand up and tell everybody everything. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, I asked uh, uh, Mookie, Mookie to yep. do something about the derived gross uh, research and see what he thought. And we also asked at the same time, we asked Eric to really come in and update us about the app and tell us everything that was going on and stuff. And so those yeah. two people actually uh, spoke for most of the meeting, which I was yeah. pleased with. <laughs> yes yep absolutely we we did that and uh, we have that video in the forum by the way in case yes. anybody's interested in that video um yeah and i know uh, a lot of folks on the on the forum have done a lot with derived roads as as you said eric has put the derived roads in the app because there was interest in it i know wait for it has done an awful lot with the derived roads and has been a real big advocate of it for the longest time and some other yeah. players too and uh, so now they, they kind of got you into it and me too uh, with playing with you out there. So go ahead, continue. After the seminar, Mookie did the seminar, I remember. Yeah, and I'll be really honest with you. I, I, I listened to it. I wrote, took some notes and stuff. Like uh, yeah. I dutifully do it most you know, times I'm listening to somebody talk. But I didn't really do much with it. Right. And it wasn't until um, probably sometime in January of this year uh, Rail Rabbit had been here for a while, and I had been yep. kind of messing with the derived roads a little bit. Yeah, um, you can read a lot about them on the internet. Um, Bookie can. left a lot of good references to articles and things to you know watch about the derived roads. There's yep. uh, something on Wizard of Oz um, you can look at. But I concluded the thing that got me really excited was was you don't really have to know a whole lot about the derived roads to successfully win and improve your hit rate using the information that's on there. Yeah, it's provided for. You don't have to understand how they're, quote, derived, that's but uh, you can still use the information. And, uh, you know, it's it's proven very valuable. It, it, exactly. This is a uh, – the, the shoe that you put up here, Keith, is actually yeah. a uh, – uh, it's from the uh, Red Rock. Uh, it's actually an RNG, uh, random number generated uh, document. Okay. Yeah. Um, that uh, I saw, oh, it's been maybe a month or so ago now. And what was interesting to me about it and what's become interesting to me about the derived rows in general is if you just take a look at this for a minute, this is the entire tote board. It's actually, it looks big because it is big. It's yes. uh, it, It's very large. It's, you know, up on the wall and, you know, it's very large in front of you. Yep. But if you look real quick at the main road, you'll see. And that's um, this one here. You know, you had that nice long, that's on the right-hand side of your, you know, yep. what you're looking at there. You know, you see they had that nice long run of seven of the uh, players. Player. Yep. And then you had a 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, you know, yep. type of range between the bank and the player. All of a sudden you had a, a run on the bank. And then, and then it, you know, the shoe changed and it got kind of confused. There was no, 
you couldn't look back and keep playing what you'd been playing before. Right. Because so hopefully chopper. you were using, you know, uh, some mechanism uh, to help you decide what to what to play uh, throughout the rest of the shoe. And then you get that long run on the player, on the bank, I'm sorry, a uh, little more confusion. And then all of a sudden you got a, a string of ones. Yeah. What are there uh, eight or nine of them in a row there? You know, yes. one bank, one player, one bank. Okay. And I think for most of our players, it's it's pretty easy for us to play either runs or strong side. I mean, I'm sorry, yep. or uh, um, chop. Yep. Some people prefer one over the other. So it's not actually easy for everybody to play both. Some don't right. like to play chop. Some don't like to play run. Yes. Okay. Because right. they don't know when to get in and they're afraid they won't get out soon enough. That's okay. right. That's right. And and that's that that's a hard thing to to master. I mean, it, it is it, it because is. it's it's unpredictable. Yeah, I mean, ultimately it's your money, and uh, ultimately you've got to make decisions. You know, no matter how you play, how, how you're going to approach this thing. Right. But if you look on the the whole left side of the uh, the big tote board up there, what that shows is up in the top left hand corner, it shows you uh, that's actually the last fifty events. Okay? Yes. Where uh, 32% of the last 50, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, last 50 hands, 32% have been um, player, 56% of the bank, and 12% have been tied. It's hard to see the ties on the tote board. Uh, they're, they've got a little green slash that goes through there, but the color just doesn't come through. Um, yeah. Take yeah. a picture of it. No, it doesn't. But Next they're there. You've got, <laughs> you've got the same thing. The current shoe results just give the statistics are explained numerically right above. It says games played 50. That number 50 always stays the same, okay? Yep. Uh, it's just, it's you know, when the next hand happens, those percentages may change slightly. Right. But look at how the derived roads differ from what happened on the main road. And let me explain. The top Please. of the three derived roads, some people, it's, I guess, referred to as the big eye boy. Yes. Um, some people call it hamburgers or donuts. I mean, I'm sorry, they call it donuts or uh, onion rings. I apologize. Uh, donuts or onion rings, because you can see it's a circle with a hole in it. Yep. And it's important to understand that the red and blue circles that you see there are not player and banker. Right. So I think anybody that, once you get into the right road, you'll understand that. They are simply symbols to represent the result of an actual hand that got played. Right. Okay. <clears throat> but it's not going to look like the main road because red generally stands for order or the same as, and blue generally stands for chaos, chaos yeah. or different than what happened previously. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And right. what's exciting is, is if you look at the derived road there, you see there in the kind of the first quadrant, you'll see a section of a lot of blue circles. Yes. And not very many red ones. Yep. And if all you had done was taken those blue circles, and if you look over to the right, you'll see the, the PB, and you'll see three blue under it and three red under the uh, player. Yep. Okay. That will change after each hand. Yes. And during that period of time, if you had done nothing but play those blue circles, they would constantly be telling you whether to play player or banker. Yep. Okay. And that's right. And I'll, I'll highlight that. Yep. Absolutely. And then look up, you know, again, we'll go a little further and it gets just like into a regular shoe. It's hard to understand what's really going on and what's, you know, what's going to win next. But <laughs> I don't think anybody could miss on that, you know, big eye boy, you know, the big eye boy road. I don't think anybody can miss yeah. six, 10, 14, what is that, 15, 16? Yeah. Uh, blue circles in a row. In a row, exactly. Now, where would you pick that up? You don't see 16 in a row too often no. on the main road, do you? No, you don't. As No. <laughs> that, and, that's... And, and again, if you just sit back from the shoe, like I'm doing right now, and look at it, you look at that, again, I'm talking about the top of the three main roads. Right. Look how much overall now the blue circle compared to the red circle is crushing it. Yeah, it is. It's crushing it. And after each hand, it's going to show you where the blue circle, if you think the blue circle is going to continue or it's going to, the result's going to be a blue circle, it's going to tell you whether to bet player or banker. I'm pointing to the P and B. Yep. Wherever you find that blue circle, okay, it's going to suggest player or banker. 
So okay. it, it picked chaos most of the time there at that part of the shoot. Now they don't line up exactly because they, they all start up. they they start a straddled start for the way it does its calculations. But you don't need to know that. You know what's important is is to your point, Kevin is you know how long would you have to wait in a casino to see a sixteen in a row on banker player or even a zigzag? And I mentioned this to you anecdotally. I said you know Kevin watching the derived roads. It seems you see streaks on either red or blue that are longer a lot more often than you know looking at the one below it in the next in the next derived road. Look, there, there's another six, eight, ten, twelve, what, fourteen in a row. You don't see that very often at all on a on a banker player uh, main road. And yet, you know, anecdotally, I said. Uh, you know, you seem to see it more, and you said no. It absolutely does seem to happen a lot more. So, well, we'll just look. Let's look down at the bottom row. Yes. Okay. Um, which some people call it, or the, you know, I guess the, the correct name is cockroach pig. What that yep. means, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I call it the slashes. <laughs> the slashes, yeah, that's what I call it too. Some people, you know, um, uh, yeah, you can call it the French fries. You know, if you want to call the top one hamburgers, I mean, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fred, uh, onion rings, the middle one hamburgers, the, like the holes, the, the circles that don't have holes in them. And right. then the bottom ones look like French fries. People have different names for them, okay? But look again, just stand back and look at that one section of that small, uh, the, 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 the bottom of the three roads. Right. Look at the blue slashes. Yeah, look what absolutely. They did. Yeah, look what they did. And and to be honest with you, you can't really tell unless we would put the game in and, and, and play it hand by hand, which, by the way, we're going to do in the we're private forum. But, I mean, they could have actually the, – the, later on, it pro, it may have stopped at five in a row, and, and, and the slash has just continued across the bottom there. Is That could actually have been a little bit longer. Could have went to 17 there. So, anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's just uh, – it's it's incredible, and it you know if you can't see that, man, you you, you better take a step back and look again. It, it's so obvious to 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 glance at these derived roads and look for these patterns and trends, and you know they're all derived, and it tells you the key tells you what to bet. And the the, the idea is is that okay, I'm not saying, and nobody is saying, you know, no. plays this. They're not saying to ignore what's happening on the main road. No, they're not saying that. Okay. But no matter how you play, no matter what system, what methodology, what approach you take, you still got to make, make a decision. And so what's a better bet? What's a good bet? What's an OK bet? What's a place where you don't bet? Right. And again, I think anybody who knows me knows that I maintain you shouldn't be betting a whole lot of hands. No, you should Your hit rate should go up if you bet fewer hands but make better decisions. Yep. That's just that's a kind of a mathematical formula, better decisions your hands, your hit rate as a percentage will go up. Yeah. So what the derived roads have done for me, once I realized they didn't have to all match up every time, like the blue and the red didn't have to all match up. Like you can yes. see there in that one illustration at the top where it says P and B on the yes. left hand side of the, you know, and they all happen to line up. Yep. That simply is telling you for the next hand, you got to decide, do you think it's going to be a, a, a red, you know, circle with a, a uh, a hole in the middle, uh, red solid, and then a, a red slash. Or do you think it's going to be, you know, the blue color? Yep. And I don't tell you whether that player or banker. Yep. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. All, it's at all times, two out of three will always say player or banker. It's just they'll be the different color. So if yeah. two red and one blue is on the player side, and two that means that two blue and one red will be what will be on the I'm sorry two red and one blue is on one side the two blue and one red will be on the other side yeah, the other it's always side, going to yeah. be the opposite yep, of yep. The color. So, so that's the thing about the derived roads is you're looking for patterns you're looking for trending in in the analysis that it's giving you and and by the way the ultimate baccarat app does do the derived road so if you like to sit at home and play online okay, and use exactly. the ultimate baccarat, baccarat app you can now and, kevin go ahead i'm sorry no it, what what it, what amazes me is is that when you do this and and this is just one example right here you're gonna find that whatever your 10 best bets are 
I think everybody knows what mine are. You know, we've published it. We've done a playbook yeah. with them in it, you know, but everybody's got different ones. And I accept that. And I respect that. You're going to find that you're going to see the same opportunities with best bets on the each derived. of the derived roads. Periodically, you're going to find one of those best bets and it may not be showing up on the main road. Yeah. In fact, absolutely. it probably won't. Probably won't. Yeah. Because the drive goes are derivative of what's going on with the player and bank. Yeah. I think one can see that in, 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 if you look at the main road there, you know, it's a little chaotic. Sure. There's a little pattern there. Then it breaks, maybe some attached, but that's hard to see. If you actually look at the, at the, at the middle road, which is the hamburgers. I mean, you can really see that, well, players never gone more than two. I mean, it's kind of a pseudo. Well, you could probably call it a strong banker after the five in a row. Uh, and then, of course, it would have put you on. And it didn't break the whole way over to the player three in a row, which when they hold, they they seem to hold. That is know? amazing when you see that. Keep that. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Look at that. The player never went past two. I mean, I'm sorry, the blue circle. The blue. The blue right. circle on the middle road, the hamburger road, whatever you want to call it. Right. The blue circle never went past two, two until it finally went to three, almost when this sequence of hands is done. Yeah, yeah I think I right. called it player two, and I didn't mean to do that. I mean, the blue, yeah. whichever it may have indicated it was at that particular time. But but uh, my goodness, uh, you know, the red was was extremely strong uh, in that sh in that in that uh, derived road. But on on the main road, you don't you don't see that. Uh, you know, there, there's nothing similar to that. Very, very uh, because you had that player seven in a row there that interrupted everything, and then you really didn't get uh, much of a run uh, on on anything at that particular point. But man, if you look at the red on the drive road, you can see uh, just bet against blue. You know, and what what's important to know is is that you cannot match up the derived roads with each other and the reason no. being is they have the same amount of space but you can see that you can fit a lot more slashes in the space than you can maybe fit some of the other things so not all of these represent the same number of hands right if, right. if that makes sure. sense yeah in other words, the, depending on the length of the events and the frequency of the events you're going to run out of space and the, the board's going to shift over to the left yep you know, yeah. just like it does on the main road if exactly. you run out of space. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, this is just one example of a remarkable opportunity to have been playing. And, yes, you could see some stuff on the on the main road that you probably would have taken advantage of. Of At course. At least I know I would because I Absolutely. play the runs and I play the chop. And I love when I see that pattern, like that two bank, one player, two bank, one player. Yeah, and by that same time, I'm on two bank, one player. I'm playing until it's over. <laughs> yeah. And it absolutely. is going to be over. Yeah. Well, the same thing but on the drive roads. But I think yeah, you would have won more on, on the hamburgers, Kevin. I think you would have capitalized on, on some of the stuff on the main road. But I'm pretty certain you'd have, you'd have won more money on the derived road betting those hamburgers on red. Yeah. And then look at those blues, the blue slashes. Yeah. Remember we yeah. played that one uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, shoot together, Keith at Palace Station? Yep, absolutely. And I, I, I said how we won, and then I said the secret sauce, if you go back to my post, it was it was at the fact that there were like, I can't remember which of the three roads, the derived roads it was on, but it was like 50 blue and like 12 red. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. It was insane. It was, I, it was, and they had these things happen with regularity, not yeah. every, you know, hundred of course hands, not. Of course they, not. When, when they happen, they have you're sitting there. You, you better pay attention, attention. to it. Yeah. You better jump on it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So this is the derived words. We're, we're going to go ahead and, and, uh, and, and play these hand by hand at the forum for you with videos for our private members uh, and explain, uh, you know, our logic in the bets. And uh, so, you know, if you want to learn more about that, come on over and join us, Kevin. Wouldn't you say that's a good idea? Well, I would always say joining us is a good idea. I see we're getting a lot of people back, in fact. Yeah, we members. do. And then yeah. uh, left for a while, you know, with, they felt that they could go out and do whatever on their own. And yeah. now they're, they've come back. They come back. They're they realize 
there's a lot of good stuff going on. Yeah, the more players we have, the better we are. And, uh, you know, you, you get the insight from all the players from all over the world. So, every and, you know, the nice thing about the forum is everyone's interested in trying to help each other, too, which is really phenomenal. And, uh, of course, I know, Kevin, you're buying uh, breakfast in Vegas still, I think, aren't yeah, you? Absolutely. 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 <laughs> unless so, somebody else wants to. <laughs> unless somebody <laughs> Well, I think I took you to McDonald's one time there. <laughs> Yeah, and if you recall, it was closed. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, we try. Sorry, we'll go through <laughs> the drive-thru again some other day. <laughs> Best effort. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Kevin, thank you very much. Listen, uh, we'll have those videos coming up on the Derived Roads played hand by hand. We'll go through our thought process. We'll be out in Vegas again one of these days shortly. I know I was just there for, I don't know, it seemed like a month and a half. <laughs> and uh, But then Kevin kicked me out of his house. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> so, uh, Kevin, any final closing thoughts here? Well, I, I think that Keith, uh, not necessarily related to derived roads, but I think you saw when you were out here that there is more and more, whether it's live stadium or RNG yeah. games, okay, as opposed to, you know, dealer Delft, you know, the Aria and the MGM and the, the, the uh, Caesars and stuff, they're never going to change, okay? Right. Right. But for people that are newer to the game, that don't want to, you know, pay thirty dollars for parking, that don't want to go and play at a hundred dollars a hand minimum. Right. Okay? There's plenty of casinos here where the minimums are, you know, uh, 10, 15, 25 dollars. And if you're gonna learn, you, you want to learn at lower stakes. Lower stakes, that's okay? right. I've always been a big advocate of that. Absolutely. But the opportunity to um that's arising, you know, like the El Cortez scenario. That, yeah, I love it there. Yeah. You know, and, and the fact that you can, that the games don't even advance unless you press the button to deal. Yeah. You can study the game for five minutes and then say, okay, I'll bet on player and then hit deal and it'll yeah. deal the hand. Yeah, it was very player friendly there at the stadium. I really enjoyed it there and uh, it was cool staying downtown there. Uh, and, and so I think that's the, this is the part of the, the future trends as we move forward is you're going to have pure dealers, you know, dealing the decks, you yep. know, and you're going to have more games like this. I didn't believe the RNG could be as good as, you know, be as real as regular play. Right. Um, I know you were skeptical, but, but it's got the same drawing rules in it, you know, programmed yep. into it. Yep. And, yep. um, you know, like I say, I'm just excited, and I'm really excited about the drive road. I can't explain how excited I am and how much money I'm making and how well I'm doing with it. So. I know. I know you did real well at the Red Rock. So, um, All right, Kevin. Well, listen, join me and Kevin here at, uh, and others, uh, you know, Mookie, Rail Rabbit, uh, uh, Dixon, some guys from Australia, Wait For It's There, and all some folks who came back. Uh, Hey, at, at beatthecasino.com, we're looking forward to meeting you and playing online. And, you know, meet us in Vegas. I, I know we put our money where our mouth is. We actually go play the game. So, Kevin, until next time, uh, don't forget, we're going to be making those videos of uh, Hand by Hand for the Derived Roads for our members. So look for that. Well, Kevin, thanks it. a lot. Okay. You betcha. Take care.